All right, Bay Mag, welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. I don't know when this is airing because it's not Monday. And we usually do snake drafts on Monday, but here it is. Here's the snake draft for this week. Um, how we doing, everybody? I'm ready to rock and roll. Last I'm snake ready to draft rock in and roll, this office. Office. Last snack draft in this. Snack last, draft. Sna- snake We're draft. not doing snacks. We're not. Did yeah. we do? No. Our first one ever was... It was MTV. Nickelodeon. Oh, that might, might be have right. been might or have been. HBO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. we just said favorites for the first couple. We did snacks and we did yeah. uh, Nickel uh, N sixty four. I think that's right. That's what we did. Yeah. Yes, I know we did HBO. Favorites. It's one of my five wins. So yeah, so remember that. It's a snake draft. It's the last one ever in the old office. Uh, we are doing this with no guests mm-hmm. for two reasons. One, because all our TVs are down, so it's a little different as far as you know getting the guests involved here. And second, because why not? Let's go out with the four of us, right? The way we started. The way we started these things when it was fucking coronavirus and yeah. uh, whatever. So and we don't really like other people either. No, well, people stink. Sure, yeah, but um, <laughs> just joking. All right. The topic for today is viral videos. Um, wait, do we even know who won last week's? We're doing this still on live. Wednesday. <laughs> it's, it's still, still live. live. That's yeah. so. Congratulations. I know I lost. Anonymous. Yeah, I lost. Oh, you weren't on the poll? Didn't make the graph. Oxen, did you in? I think Oxen. I, 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 I think, think people, Oxen was actually a pretty good pick. I thought it was pretty good, too, and then people just have a lack of respect for uh, James Patterson, Jimmy Patterson, war hero. He was a real guy, I guess. I didn't know that. Did you know that at the time? No. I no. didn't know that either. Uh, I found that out right now. That's an automatic DQ, though. It's tough, Chief. Someone took player number 23. He's a real guy. No, he's yeah, not. He's very, was, he's very dude, could similar. Could you imagine trying to tell Jimmy Patterson while he's like charging the beat, like right before they leave to charge the that beaches? Omaha, it's like, yo, just by the way, you know, like all the shit you're about to do is going to be so fucking overwhelming. You're going to be the lead character in a video game 80 fucking years from now. He's very similar to a. You're talking character. about player 23? Yes, he's not exactly. Mm-hmm. So like, that game was based off of like off of Jimmy Patterson? Or was it just like know, there was a Jimmy, like that's a pretty you common dra- name. You drafted the guy, right? I drafted the guy. And Ed's saying that he's based on a real guy. Yeah. Hmm. That's what someone said to me at least. Well. But I didn't, I didn't do that's the a white saying that state real move. guy is pretty fucking badass. Yeah, for real. But yeah. he did like, well, whatever. Who's in the lead right now? I think it's m Is it's he? m is in the lead. He's got a slight lead over me right now. Did you see what m tweeted? Yeah, no. it was unacceptable. Did, yeah. he, he deleted it quick. It was uh, it was gone within ten minutes. What but did he, he did say? he did this retweet. Yeah, he did him. retweet, but he retweeted the bar. He, no, he retweeted you. He didn't retweet the poll, so he it wasn't the dog walk profile. He retweeted Eddie's poll. Okay. It was like I won this. Go vote number one, or like I won. I'm number one. He was I didn't endorsing see this. himself. He, he, he He's was only trying. up for ten minutes. I he, think that should be a disq. He kid. was quickly told to delete it. I also think that he should just be DQ'd for that social clip where he doesn't know, like he was trying game to tell rate. us. Yeah, just game like, here's what a game. game yeah, yeah, like, we know what a fucking game. We need is. a clip like that. It's every so week. crazy how <laughs> I mean, Chief's clip. old as fuck, but the rest of us are <laughs> like only seven, eight years older than Mrags, and the like the the gap in it seems like a hundred years. Yeah, between he's life, twenty-four. Life, I think things have changed like a lot. It's like fucking crazy. Yeah, it's a revolution. Change, like fucking crazy. Uh, but yeah. So viral video draft. Congratulations to whoever wins. This was a topic that was suggested by producer Tom. Uh, he's very passionate about it. So thank you, Tom. Uh, and I mean, listen. If we all four of us have been around the block at this company, this was a huge part of Barstool's early oh, yeah. days. Mm-hmm. So it really fits well. Yeah. Because seeing Prez post. All of this shit mm-hmm. was just, I mean, and his commentary under it was just right. how we kind of got into the whole thing. I think this is probably how I saw 95% of these videos for the first time. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Oh, yeah. Because this is the shit that he pounced on right. when it was time to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, but before we really get into it, though, I do want to talk about Miller Lite, White Sox, Dave. Uh, it is obviously our favorite beer, is it not? Oh, yeah. Why wouldn't it be? It is. Because uh, you, what's an awkward situation you've been in lately? Uh, well, the- I mean, I can't walk down the street without getting bonked by the horny police and <laughs> all that now. So that's, I mean, it's gotten so common for me that it's not necessarily awkward anymore. It's just part of my day to day routine. But when it first started, when I was getting when I was getting bonked like nonstop, 
it was awkward. Ed. So when you get bonked, don't you just want to reach for a nice cold Miller that's, Lite? That's exactly it. Like, I'll get back into my 63-degree apartment with my air conditioning. I'll open the fridge. I'll crack a Miller Lite, and I'll be like, thank your comfort God. comfort zone. Your safe space. I can no longer get bonked unless I, like, break down my door. Uh, and Miller Lite. Like, that, it's, it's a, <laughs> and Miller Lite. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Miller Lite. It's perfect. Uh, just oh, yeah, back, Are people relax. really bonking you when you're walking down the street? With the, with the horny club, yeah. Really? Yeah. Like, if you go to the Sox games, like, hey, Dave, like... Like, come on, keep your dick in your pants. Like, They yeah. really say that? Oh, yeah. That's his brand now. Wow. Well... All because I, I speak what everybody else is thinking. I'm yeah. just not afraid to put it out there. And on publicly. that note, you're speaking that Miller Lite is your favorite beer. So next time you're getting beers with friends, make it Miller time. Luckily, you could pick up some Miller Lite pretty much anywhere they sell beer. Or go to MillerLite.com forward slash redline to find the delivery options near you. It's Miller time. Celebrate responsibly. Miller Brewery Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. Okay, uh, let's do the draft order. We have not done that yet. Uh, social media, Danny has a number behind his back. One through four. Carl, what is it? Four. Chief. Two. Dave. One. First pick. All right. One through three. I'm going to go two. Three. Carl. I'm going to take um, – I'll take the second pick. Okay. One through two. One or two. Chief. One. Yep. I'll take three. All right. So, White Sox, Dave, Carl, Chief, didn't want four. That fucking sucks. But All right. Order is White Sox, Dave, Carl, Chief, Eddie. Uh, viral video draft underway. White Sox, Dave, kick us off. I think – there's only one way to go here, and it's still, like, I'll watch it a handful of times a year, and the video's probably, like, 15 years old. I'm going with Leroy Jenkins. It's one of my favorite videos ever, a bunch of little fucking nerds running around playing World of Warcraft, and <laughs> they they, they uh, made it into an entire episode of South Park and Family Guy. Well, there was a, it was a clip on Family Guy where they were making fun of this video years after the fact, and... It's. I mean, you guys know the video I'm talking about. I'm assuming, right? Yeah, and and you've brought this up before yes. in Redline. Here's where you've strongly fucked up, Dave. You know the three of us aren't as passionate about it as you, so you should have taken. A it was not pick. on my board. It mm-hmm. is one of the. It's like it was the first viral video. This is from like 2005 or do the, something. Do shit. the main line again. Leroy Jenkins, <laughs> and they're like, "Oh God damn it, Leroy!" And he goes and gets everybody killed by some dude who's like way higher level or whatever it is. I've never mm-hmm. played Warcraft. You're kind of Leroy Jenkins in Call of Duty, then. Right? I I am one. I'm the lure. I'm the fucking bait. <laughs> so whenever we're like about to take on a team, like I'll just Leroy Jenkins it, and everybody start firing at me, so the rest of the team can fucking go and like mm-hmm. get better positioning and. Go and fuck the the team up, but team that's guy. me. I'm Leroy Jenkins. I think Leroy Jenkins. It's it is such a fucking perfect internet video. It is a perfect internet video. It's short. It's quick. It's funny. The content is so fucking random. It is it just, funny. Yeah. I, I, like I said, I didn't want to make it seem like we don't like it because I think we all do. But like when he brought it up on, I think like you said, it was on Redline a long time ago. I think that was like I needed a memory jog. Like I didn't really remember it, and it's kind of I kind of did my list today by memory. Um, and that that one didn't it doesn't do it for me as much as it does for Dave. Mm-hmm. Clearly, I don't think it's a, I, like he's saying it's a clear one one. I don't feel that way. I, I mean, there's other. I I, I could have gone much more chalk picks, but as someone who doesn't pander, and and I know you I appreciate, appreciate that, Dave. people who don't pander. <laughs> yeah. I I had to go with my heart. It's one of my favorite internet videos mm-hmm. of all time. But the and thing it was about, also absurdly viral. Yeah, it was like what started viral video. Oh, it was a monster. It was a monster. It was a video. monster. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm gonna. We we don't have internet in the office right now, like we said. I am trying to pull up. You shouldn't, because I don't video. know the copyright situation right now, and we're getting fucking blasted for that. Yeah, we lost the Redline Radio song. Thankfully, there's never any music on this show, but there's like a content. Mm-hmm. There's yeah, a, there's like a nightmare right now with right. copyrighted shit. So yeah, don't worry, Dave. Your voice was good enough. Leroy Jenkins off the board. Nice pick, David Williams. Carl, you're up. All right, so this viral video is unique to me because, like, the guy's actually really trying, and a lot of times when you get viral videos from these settings, it's because, like, the camera's still rolling and, like, the broadcasters know that he's still on and he's just, like, freaking out on the staff. But this is actually a viral video of the guy trying really hard. I'm thinking Boom Goes the Dynamite. Oh, Boom yeah. Goes the Dynamite is, <laughs> I think it was the first one for me. I don't know. It was, like, um, 
I want to say early 2000s. And it was like the type you had to download the clip. Mm -hmm. You had to like physically go on mm -hmm. to like Napster or some of the other, or like, what was the other e bombs one? World. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And you yeah. had to like download it and you didn't know if you were going to get a virus or not. And then it like opens up the Windows media player and it might be only, you know, yep. 30 to 45 seconds long. And you are just watching that thing over just and your over. Face and off. And Passes the guy, to the man and... Boom goes the dynamite. And they cut back to him, and he's in the middle like, of like the highlight. They cut back to him, and he's looking at one of the camera guys or the producers, and he just goes, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. He knows he fucked up. Right. It was like me with the gum. So that was I probably the uh, a, next pick. I have, a, <laughs> I, have, yeah, I have a story about that. So my friend from high school, shout out Carl, Carl with a K, lived oh, in the dorm, kind of guy. dorm room next to him <laughs> that year. So that came out in like 2005. And he lived, it was at Ball State. He lived in the dorm room next to him. He said that, at, like, their phone, like, their dorm room phones were ringing off the fucking hook trying to get this kid to go on Letterman because Letterman's a Ball State guy to yep. do all these other media appearances because he was so viral. And the kid just refused. He quit, like, the broadcasting journalism school and, like, who knows what he's doing now. But he, like, could not handle that fuck up and like he so he had like opportunities to like hey we'll give you an internship Dude. and he just was like no nah, i don't want to do this anymore and like he but did they the said, web redemption thing with uh what's his name tosh point oh yeah he did oh that. yeah like, years yeah. later yeah years yeah. later right? yeah and um and but yeah like he w it was like the whole like everybody was living in the dorm like they're like hey do you i think his kid's name is brian like hey do you know yeah, can, his you get, name is brian. can you get in touch with brian and uh and they're like hey like, yeah he doesn't want to talk to you so, but he would like that was like my buddy was living next door to him when that when all that wow, was going on. That's yeah. a fun fact, yeah. dude. How yeah. did he say he was like as a guy? I oh, mean, he's like a well, pretty much. I mean, I feel darky. like watching that clip, I know him, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, he yeah. shouldn't have been on air, no. But here's well, the thing no. mm -hmm. that was just, I assume that was just regular fucking school channel that you have in the dorms. No, the it wasn't. Oh, it was not? No. So He's that, like the student ambassador on like the yeah, so it was like, local program right, to talk so, about the school sports. Ooh. Well, he talked. It was like, oh, and he, he had the Pacers. Yeah, the Pacers, oh, the Pacers game. Pacers. He was talking but, about but like. Am I wrong? Oh, shit. But, but he still, also did the Ball State baseball game, too. Yeah. That's in the, the extent. Yeah, so one. it was like the Muncie station, which has like strong ties to the school. <laughs> okay. But it was like Muncie's not like a small town no. necessarily. So, yeah, it was like the whatever. It wasn't like the internet cables no, no no but there's like i mean I, like I, I obviously i did this shit mm -hmm. and there was this tv station that was all school student ran we we did that at north central too yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. like i've done it before and it was like i don't i don't think that was this no i could and be like, wrong there's but all I, clips of jeff d low doing yeah, I was gonna say jeff was on yeah. yeah yeah, yeah uh, i don't yeah, i think this was like out on like ah, normal tv we'd have to look that up because yeah. i have a hard time believing that's really throwing a kid on a stage or you know yeah throwing someone out there without a life raft he was, and he was a freshman yeah, so. there's no way it was that. Yeah, there's maybe no, right they then. don't do fresh yeah, that shit. Maybe so it was just local, so it's like not even that big of a deal, right? But it you just know? It, the internet got hold of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, wow. I'm fairly certain he was a freshman, so maybe I you're can't right. believe your. My friend, buddy was a freshman. I looked it up as soon as so it was on my board. Great pick. Thanks. I looked him up because I was like, dude, I'd love to have that guy on the show and interview him. Couldn't find anything. Yeah, I didn't even know he was on Tosh. Yeah, he was on Tosh. I would guess in like 2014 or 15. Probably do five, you sympathize with him, Dave, as a guy who had another run at a tough yeah, run at I live do. TV? I do. <laughs> um, but the thing was, is like he was fucking trying to groom himself to do that. I was just this fucking asshole yeah, sprinting yeah. from my desk job without his shower didn't take. <laughs> and I was nervous. Yeah, and you, I, had, yeah. you had Walter Payton Jr. there. That's nerve wracking. <laughs> I didn't say Walter Payton Jr. I said Walter Payton's son. Uh. You can go and check the tape, you fucking cocksucker. But um, <laughs> the... the like, yeah, I, I I feel for the kid. In fact, I'd like to buy him an internet beer, an internet Miller Lite, if you if you will. Ed. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, Be like man, I feel yeah. you, dog. Boom for goes real. the dynamite is a Great classic. Oh yeah, 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 that's it's kind of sure tarnishes fire. it to yeah. know that the guy's life is forever ruined by this. Clip no, I don't think yeah. that his life is ruined. I, I, I he just went in a different career path. Yeah, and that, he, that, yeah. yeah. So it, I I don't know like much about him, but he was just like yeah, I think he was just like this is just not for me. And you know what? I think he that. Was, Self awareness I mean, is it, nice. It probably, I'm guessing, is like, would you rather die by death by a thousand paper cuts or shotgun Ugh. to the face? And he got that shotgun to the face. And you know what? He's probably making some decent money being a fucking scientist somewhere that doesn't ever have a camera <coughs> or people around him. He was a scientist. Why? Because he's know. a nerd, Dave. Yeah. He, I mean, he's. I mean, we should have drafted him in the nerd draft. You know what? He's though, the definition man. of a nerd. Like I, 
could you imagine this guy walks around and how many times he still probably hears it a day? It, it's it's like I, kinda, I it sounds like almost now. like a Bartman vibe in a way. Yeah, you know. But um, you but just gotta wear it. At least his name's you wear not in. You gotta yeah. pop dock people, Ed. Right. You'd have to move to a different. I mean, continent. Witness protection. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just pull Living the Living in the countryside Pinkman. in France. I mean that that video is like. 15, 16 years old now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but could still... you imagine if you move, could you, if you move yeah. to like, he's living in like Belgium and like some guy comes up to him, he's like, oh, boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Fuck. They're, like the boom goes the dynamite was funny, but they're like the whole video, it was like every second he's like, he's fucking up. He called, like, yeah. Wayne, remember, um, uh, Wayne, I'm gonna get his name wrong, but he called it like the All American basketball player from Kansas. Simeon, was, Wayne Simeon. Yes, Wayne Simeon, and he called yeah. him like Wayne. He's like the name's written there. He's like Wayne Summers, and it's like he's just Wayne like, like every single thing was wrong the entire. Th- oh, it, was, it, it was almost like it was fake. Yeah. yeah. Did the Pacers win or lose the game he covered? I forget. I think they won. Well, I think that, Reggie Miller had a big game. Boom goes the night. I mean, he hit that one Chicago, shot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, good pick, mm-hmm. Chief. All right, so I'm going to one that still gets played every single year. St. Patrick's Day, the Leprechaun in Alabama. Yep. You know, anybody yeah. seen the Leprechaun say yeah? Oh, y'all seen the Leprechaun say yeah? yeah. And, and then, then he like, has the grill teeth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he does like the little shrug, yeah. which has become a gif. Yeah. And then, you know, they, they the cast of characters in that video it's where they go up to the old the old yeah. lady in the car. Could be a crackhead. <laughs> it might be a crackhead. And so the whole thing, and then they go to the other guy who's like, my grandfather was Irish. And he's like, he carved this wooden flute. Thousands like, of years ago. <laughs> <fiddle, laughs> <thousands laughs> Leprechaun <laughs> flute. Passed on from great yeah, grandfather. Yeah, it's, it's my great grandpa's <laughs> from thousands of years ago. It's like, well, technically it would be like, yeah. you're thousandth great grandpa and like just the fact that there's like there all these people at night talking about this leprechaun that's up in a tree there's like 60 people it's like just the whole the, town is just out looking for this leprechaun in the news broadcast and then like the amateur fuck. the amateur sketch <laughs> the amateur sketch it's, it's like it kind of looked like this it's all like a, a yellow legal pad like written out <laughs> that video like it's like I see it at least once a year obviously on St. Patrick's Day and it cracks me up every single it, time it's, it will never not be funny and yeah. that I could be 60 years old mm-hmm. and it could be St. Patrick's Day and I'll be out trying to pluck a six from fucking Wall Street yeah and I will I, wake up and play that video to get a laugh. The amateur sketches on like T-shirts and stuff. It's that that dude who we said, uh, yeah, who um, like had the grill and everything. Like he he did shit too. He he voiced himself in the South Park episode where they made fun of that exact clip. Like he voiced himself. Like he it's probably a, made some money off of it. Yeah, I hope so. It's I a hope so. Yeah, great video. It's a I got so excited video after. I mean, Carl took that. Because I I thought there was a chance it would slip to me. Oh, it was my it was my number one. Yeah, me yeah. too. That would have been my one one as well. Unbelievable video. Yeah, it just never ends with good fucking shit after good right. shit. Right. Yeah. The cast of characters. Yep. Yeah. It's, it just it's, keeps rolling. And I'm about to uproot that tree. You know, it's on. Where the gold at? I just want to know where the gold at. Those people, I don't know how. Now that got played on real news, which is crazy. Right? Yeah, and, and I don't and know how that happened. It's so funny because the I feel like that doesn't happen anymore. Because there's a few uh, viral videos like that that I have that are just from like local news broadcasts on my list. I feel like I haven't seen a video like that go viral from local news in ten years. Yeah, been a long time. A lot of these are going to be from like the infancy of the internet. Yeah, yeah, like not the infancy of the internet. Because yeah, you had like to like climb through the ranks shit. to go viral. Right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, great pick. That's that's it's, strong value. That's definitely a first uh, first rounder. Yep. Uh, to me, I'm gonna go with the same one. This one is very strong. Barcel ties. It definitely has. It's definitely the least viral out of the three that have mentioned already. But I don't care. I want it. Uh, Prez probably posted it on Memorial Day. Oh. It's the DJs in my car. B L M A R. You got to be smiling. You got to be dancing. You got to be shaking, shaking that, that ass. ass. <laughs> <laughs> the infancy it was before Jersey Shore, I yeah. believe. Yeah. Oh, it was definitely, yeah. definitely. and yeah. it's just uh, yeah, well, it's just ram pack yeah. car Guidos, yeah. just ready to get uh, on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's I, you see that might be bar like you're right. That might not be. It's like viral in our world, and yeah. it's just like you. That's Prez post that video, and it is the unofficial start to summer or it the is. official start to summer. It is. And it's it is like you can't recreate that and the, they are dead ass serious. Like they think they're sweet. Yeah. Which is the like the best part. Yeah. So Man, I'm about to put this shit on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it's I mean that tells you all it is. Yeah. It was YouTube was like brand was new. Oh, dude, I'm yeah. going to put this on YouTube. This right. thing called YouTube. Yep. Uh 
love that. Uh, I also love the story behind it. Like I know Prez tried to talk to him before, tried to make a shirt. Mm-hmm. Guy wanted like a hundred grand or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Crazy. Do we think Rico uh, knows that guy? That's ah, a good question. Probably. I mean, he when probably it, does. When it comes to Shore Legends, obviously there's Jersey Shore people, mm-hmm. him, and Tommy Cheeseballs. But you yeah. know these guys have their seat at the table. That's a that's an amazing viral video. Uh, my second one, I'm also going to go with the one that I found very funny that was always on Barstool. Uh, and the GIF's still around. GIF is still around, however you guys want to say it. Uh, so I do like that. I'm going to go with the I Like Turtles kid. Yep, that's a good one. I like that kid. That's a serious-ass serious. question and just, I like, I like turtles. turtles. It's a different type of viral video. Yes. yes. It's, yeah. fun. Uh-huh. it's just like some funny, weird kid. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wasn't that from a local news thing, too? That's what yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. It was like the opening at a zoo. Right. Man, th- He's got they... like zombie paint on. Yeah, yeah. he's like, like got a costume have a nice day? I like turtles. I like turtles. <laughs> and he's got the, he's, he's got not, not a speech impediment, but his... <laughs> He Tatum. can't speak fully yet because he's so young. Doesn't mm-hmm. have the R's yet. Yeah, it doesn't have the. I I had that problem when I was <laughs> younger you? too. Really? Yeah, I had a neighbor named Rodney. And everybody made fun of me on the block because I I would have to call him Wadney. Wadney. I couldn't say my R's yet when I was younger. Shout yeah. out to Rodney. Shout out to Rodney. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I loved I like turtles, man. That that could that that was just always. Yep. It was a quick laugh too. Yeah, just a, a quick laugh. I think it's like yeah. a thirteen second video. We have like a ten Tops. minute update on this guy. We go through too. Like I feel like. We should like have a check now. Yeah, like, yeah. Dude, like, Ed, you should try to yeah, like, I don't know, like, get the get the head honchos at Barstool to see how many of these people you can get on the show, yeah. on, on the dog walk. That would be something. The re- you might need, like, recreate the, FBI recreate the viral video in front yeah. of a green screen. Yeah, this or kid's that, like, yeah, yeah, we can do that in a week or two. This guy's like the Rays minor league system right now or something. <laughs> <That'd be amazing. laughs> how funny would that be? <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, I like turtles is my pick. Chief, it's back to you. All right. I'm taking – this is one of my all-time favorite um, ones, too. Another news broadcast, Latarian Milton, where it's a seven-year-old kid, and he just yeah. – he steals his grandma's car because he was mad at I just want to do mo- bad things. <laughs> I just, it's fun to do bad things with your friends, mm. which Latarian, fuck yeah, it is. Like, I'm not recommending Grand Theft Auto, but there is something about, like, Dave, like, you're my guy where I'm like, I'm looking for trouble. I want to go out with White Sox, That's Dave. That's true. Because it is fun to do bad shit with your friends, reasonable stuff within the law. Don't steal cars. But the video is just, like, it's so pure, like... And he's sorry about it, and the grandma, you know, the grandmother's <laughs> talking to the news, and he like he took it for like a joyride, like a seven year old kid like went all the way to the Walmart or whatever, and like you know, but it's how his interview is just much like, would you like to be, like just not, I mean, not within accident distance, like mm-hmm. not close enough, but like what would you do if you saw a Tyrion driving down the street in like his pickup truck or something? Like, would you laugh or would you try to a stop it? Child? Yeah, the, like, no, the, I, no I, him I would, specifically. Because he's such a fat little idiot, it'd be hilarious, I think. Oh, I would be very, like, in real time, I'd be very scared. Like, I would call the cops. I, I would be laughing my tits off. Oh, I wouldn't. I'd I, be laughing I, my I tits off. I would be off. very nervous. I would be very nervous. Because, like, yeah, like, that's it's a very do dangerous. Bad it is, but, like, that's, the act is not, what he did is not funny, but, like, the way he talks about it. <laughs> And it's like, you just remember being a little kid. And like, when I was a little kid, I used, you know, like you talk about lighting things on fire in the woods. Like, that's kind of like the same. I, I mean, uh, you guys didn't do that. It still shocks me. Right. That well, that. that or just like throwing right. things off bridges, like smashing things. Like, it's mm-hmm. just fun to do like, the, like he took it to a different level, obviously. But like, it was such like a relatable quote yeah. about why he did it. Like, <laughs> I was mad at my mom. Check. Like, I've been mad at my mom, stormed off, running, running the woods and like done, you know, bad things. And, uh. And same thing, like, you know, so it was just, it's just a great, great, great video. Latarian Milton. Um, oh no, it sounds like he's in trouble now. And, and as an yeah. adult? And you know what, Ed? You I'm mean not the kid who lie, stole a car? That doesn't shock me And then was whatsoever. like completely ambivalent <laughs> about it on... Well, I, not everybody that steals cars as youth go on to have a bad life. My dad, yeah. my dad stole a car. Oh, did he? he? When he was 13, so he, 12 or 13, he had a paper route. And they were they were living uh, in Connecticut at the time, and he he and his buddy both had a paper route, and it got cold. But they would leave at five in the morning, four thirty five in the morning. So they would push his buddy's mom's car out of the drive, so they wouldn't hear him start it. And then they would do their paper route. Take, they would do both paper routes together without instead of riding their bikes or walking. They stole this car at thirteen years old. Then the story goes on Halloween. They're like, let's just take the car out. So then they had like. They were like joyriding. The parents called in the car is stolen. 
they had like a like a police stop off of like one of these where they like blocked traffic and like that's how they got caught. It was like the police uh, do you like, pulled hear the car over. Something that happened very recently in my family. My grandpa stole a Cadillac. Swear to God, like two months ago. On um, like on purpose? No, on accident. Uh, exact same Cadillac. <laughs> at my New oh. Jersey grandpa got in the car. They left their key in it, and my grandma's like, "What the fuck's wrong with the seat or whatever?" Drove home, gets a call from the police on the like the car's phone system mm-hmm. and he's like excuse me like where are you like you you stole a car and he's like what the fuck are you talking about like this is my car and eventually <laughs> he realized it wasn't his car drove it back and they like laughed about it could have happened to anybody classic yeah. rampant move yep mm-hmm. <laughs> this happened like two months ago yeah it says as of 2019 he is in prison still waiting sentence on the final verdict which could possibly end up being a 15 year, year long jail sentence, oh shit so. oh. Uh, that was 2019 though so maybe you hate to see that up yeah now. I hate to see that it's a classic video for sure hood yeah. rat stuff with my friends that's a very good picture mm-hmm Shocked by you so far. Why? I don't know. You just fuck everything up. That is not true. Does he fuck everything up, Dave, or not? He, uh, he has a tendency, yes. Not always, but typically, like, I'm <laughs> expecting him to take, like, uh, fucking, I don't I, know, something bad. I am statistically closer in the rankings to you than I am to Dave. I mean, that has nothing to do with... That means you, I'm a better drafter that, than I get credit for. This it narrative, doesn't. it's like a false propaganda narrative by Red Ed over there. No. You even... Yeah, there are times I get to round four, and I'm like, you know what? I can I can look on the internet what the best thing purely is left. Purely Elizabeth. <laughs> He's about to draft a purely Elizabeth. Purely Elizabeth video. is fucking good. I have it in my cabinet right now. The uh, some cereal right Someone now. had a hilarious meme of you riding a bike. That was funny. That was when he's like, oh, the chief riding his bike, and then they had a, like a stick, and it said ox on it. No, it no, like, no. It was like chief riding his bike. The stick also had my name on it, and then I put the stick in my own bike and killed myself. Like yeah. that was. And yeah. then the last comic strips at red ed yeah blame, blame <laughs> play red for, ed for you putting your stick in your own spokes right uh carl you're up i'm gonna take this is an all-timer i think for a lot of people in this room right uh greg jennings oh i was hoping i'd get that back to darren me. shopper put the team on his back one of the most hottest hitting safeties in the league hold my dick oh my fucking god 99 yard touchdown reception with greg jennings in the broken broken leg fucking leg yo dog yo dog i mean just an all-time fuck the whole video from the second it rolls till the second it's over is electric it's great the only it's. I don't, I don't think, think I know what video you guys are talking oh, about. You're, oh, you're, yeah. Dave, I, I know once I saw it, I would, but it's not Do popular. it for Madden. Do it for Madden. I really Madden. don't think I know what video you're talking about. Yeah. You never heard of this one? I. It's Doesn't not, he hit pause to show you he's hurt or something? Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. His like, leg was all Earlier, up. though. <laughs> Earlier. Though. <laughs> I can't believe it. So the only thing, this is not, this one so didn't funny. go viral, so I, I feel comfortable saying it, and no one would take it after this. But there was, in a playoff game between the Seahawks and the Saints, like later that year, Greg, uh, not Greg Jennings, Marshawn Lynch had like this incredible run and he did like the same thing with that Marshawn yeah. Lynch run. He's like, little boy! And like the same <laughs> voice as he's just like chucking defenders around. And you know, Darren Sharper, hold my dick! It's a great video. Yeah, yeah. He, the, the fucking... The fact that like... Is that- that, like, Darren, is that where that phrase came from? The like, hold my dick? Because I, I, I don't like, know, but that's the first time I had ever heard. Like it. Darren Sharper, I want I want to say he was all pro. He was at least a pro baller. Yeah, he was a good player. One yeah, of yeah. safeties for a while, and had been around the league for a long time. And then you say the name Darren Sharper, and I'm like Darren <laughs> Sharper. Yeah. Like that's to me, that's a viral video. Yeah, no, that was great. That was a great pick. I was I was hoping that that would circle back to me. That was going to be my next pick. I hope that this kid has some Twitch stream somewhere. Because oh, good call. He yeah. he could have been the guy. Because this is so fucking long before. Yeah. Was, like he was probably record. He's probably had like a how fucking he did, like, a VHS yeah, tape seriously. or something. Yeah. Flip phone. Yeah. Right. Damn That's what I would think. It's a good pick. It was on my board. White Sox. Dave, they're up again. I'm going back to the local news broadcast well with mine, and I'm going with Antoine Dobson. Good one. They raping everybody out here. Everybody raping everybody out here. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Yeah, hide your kids. Hide your wife. Everybody raping everybody out here. He did. Uh, he did the talk show circuit. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it's just it's it is just internet gold. So, like, what is it with all these little shitty fucking yeah. ho dunk towns? That was in Indiana too, I think. I mean, that makes all the sense. Pretty in the sure. World. <laughs> and they the, back in the day with uh, we were pay uh, ninety nine cents for an iTunes song. 
Yeah. Okay. So, yes. so somebody remixed it, like remixed that whole thing, like turned it into a song, and it, like they made like Antoine Dobson's family made like 150 grand or some some like I can't remember the exact numbers, but that's directionally <laughs> correct. That through iTunes downloads of yeah, a remix thanks. of that song, they made like a good amount of money. Yeah. Hide your kid. Hide your wife. Hide your kids. Hide your, your wife. I had it on a list. It's a good pick. Yeah. That's everybody raping one. everybody out here. <laughs> Yeah, he when you talk about like singular stars, he's up there. Oh yeah, big time. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. his face oh, yeah. is still yeah, like yeah, I yeah. like. I have a shitty memory, especially for names. I remember Antoine Dodson. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right, Dave. Third round. Pick. I'm going to one. I can't believe this hasn't gotten drafted yet. I thought this was a surefire first round pick, but I'm going with Leave Britney Alone. That one it's on my list was fucking absurdly viral. Absurdly viral. If that would have happened like in in the year 2020 or 21. That would have had billions of views. I feel like. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, I I don't have it pulled up right now. Um, I'm sure it's got. I would guess at least 500 million views for the orig- or downloads or whatever for the I see, like, original yeah, video. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, and I thought that was a chick for a long time. I didn't find out that that was a dude for like years after the fact. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it was in college. I remember that. I found out because it originally came out when I was in high school. Um, just like some like, how Britney you, stand. What do you mean you found out? Because I I because. My friend, I was like, he. I kept saying he when we were watching the video, and I'm or she rather, and they're like, that's a dude. I'm like, actually, is it? And I remember like looking closer, and they're like, yeah, dude, that's a dude. But I mean, crazy fucking viral video. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I, I do know he was just pissed off that everybody was making fun of Britney Spears when she was like at her low point, and he was just a Britney stan. He popped on the internet and fucking went crazy viral. Leave Britney alone. Still stands the yep. test of time. People oh, yeah. still say leave Britney alone. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good pick. I'm I'm interested. T- like Tom is the one who suggested the category. How's it going so far, Tom? Are you are eleven? What ten, eleven picks in? Yeah. Is it? Uh, are we? Is there any like? Holy are, shit! I can't. Are you this dissatisfied with the selections of the first two rounds? No, not dissatisfied. But it's uh, yeah, it's interesting that a lot of them I feel like are going to be older ones, and there's kind of like a mix of like I feel like there's a lot of uh newer ones. But I feel like we're kind of like in the world of Barstool where maybe they're just viral in our own world that I feel like could have gone first. Like, do you, like the best viral videos are videos where people aren't trying to go viral. I feel like everybody's trying to go viral right now, which like I don't I don't think it necessarily works, but it waters everything down. You know, we're just forcing just a lot of these so videos much are- content right now from all angles of the Internet, whether it's Twitter, or YouTube or whatever. And. And, and back then it was just like there's videos out there like this one I don't like the the leave Britney alone maybe I'm completely wrong I just said it would have gone crazy viral if it came out today I think now that I think about it I should say it would have just gotten lost in the shuffle maybe probably yeah. there's just so much stuff out there now. yeah yep yeah. there is um all right Carl you're up again I can't go any further without taking it I'm taking the Cody Parkey video that's my video of- oh I, um, I was going to – I had it on my list. I had it on my list. And I, I really wasn't trying to go viral. The, the story behind that is just Dave and I were going to the playoff game. We had asked Big Cat, if you were going, what would you do? Because we were on the job for two or three days. At that point, It was like yep. the first thing we were doing. And he was like, the, the internet's going to – or like the service is going to be really bad, but if you can get a couple videos up from the stands and get videos up from the stands. And we had struggled – getting videos up mm-hmm. throughout the day you were kept changing like wi-fi settings and then you would like go to this and that you do shit with like your cellular lte stuff somebody was showing me how to do it but point was it was hard to get videos up and when he had missed dave and i were doing a video before where it was like he's gonna hit it he's gonna hit it i said nope he's gonna miss it and so that was like getting that had gotten published and it was like getting some play and then they had called a timeout and then after he missed it I was like, I got to get this video up right away. Obviously, I was mad they lost, but part of me like running out of the stadium was to like get you out You were out of there like a bat out of hell. So I could get it uploaded. And you took that little side door. Yeah, just like it's the first thing that was available, mm-hmm. so I ran out. So I might have been like one of the first guys out of Soldier Field. And I obviously had been drinking all day and was very mad and had lost a big bet on the Bears. And like there was a lot of, you know, extenuating you know what? circumstances, but I was just so mad and that was it. It was over and in forty seconds. The house moms and, and then Diane's I got home Karen's. five minutes later, and it was like, because I lived shit. across the street, and I was like, "Holy fuck!" I told Mrs. Carl, "I was like, I'm gonna be up all night just <laughs> just arguing with people going and, through this." Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, the we, caption was the funniest part. You just said "fuck Cody" in all caps. You didn't even say "Parky," just Cody. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that always made me laugh, but I remember I was kind of pissed at that. I'm like, "Holy shit, dude!" Like, 
he's like motherfucking this guy bad. Like I don't know if this is, and then it went fucking yeah. crazy. But I was at uh, I was getting. I went to a bar for the game to drink my sorrows away, and I didn't notice how viral it was going until like maybe forty five minutes later, and I was like, holy fuck! I we were Eddie and I were in HQ, and that you know doing the the electric chair lost whatever, and then just started getting like text from like k marco i didn't even know he had my number at that time like you guys are you know why aren't you blogging this I'm like we are blogging it. like like it's up like we're blogging it. i couldn't get it on the internet i had to go back to the hotel to like write it i was it was like this was like the worst night ever it's the worst way to lose and it's like now it's a work night because fucking carl is going viral screaming about cody yeah. parkey that's and interesting was, anecdotes about it too i don't think we've ever talked about that because if you watch the video it is eerily quiet behind you and empty and yeah. you're at the fucking game. So I didn't know you got out of there so fast. Oh, he was out of there. there we were sitting in the last yeah. row, too. I was on the aisle seat of the last row of the 100 level at the 30-yard line. And there was, wow. like, this little side door that nobody really knew about, I think. Like, as soon – I mean, my I'm not joking. My initial reaction was, like, line up and kick it again. You know, like, when you see it hit and you're like, it's not good. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm going to get the yeah, – Well, because they did ice him, right? Didn't he, he make – yeah, yeah, he, he made, made the, the first, first one. one. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking – Not by a lot, though. What was it, a 43-yarder? 40, yeah. 43-yarder. He made the first one, but he, like, inched it in. And then the second one – Trying to give it a little more oomph. Yeah. So that's uh, it. Still comes up too, and I and I think that has been really helpful to at least have something attached to because I think this job's a lot of like creating moments or being attached to moments or like at least when you're getting started out, like when no one knows who you are. Oh. So you want to find some good moments. So for me, I didn't even realize it. You don't even know, but like looking back and the, the time I've been full time with Barstool, I can still say that that was like by far the most important thing I've done. Which oh, is it's crazy. Huge. I mean, dude, it's such job, a fucking yeah. what have you done for me lately league. Like, yeah. that's just how it works. Like, you do something great, you keep it moving, but you get a moment like that, it sends a test of time. Didn't you forever. say, like, Uber drivers knew you as the Cody Parker guy? Dude, the next couple weeks after that, I'd be in the weirdest situations at the convenience store and fucking some guy would come up with, like, Snapchat rolling and be like, yo, get mad at me. And you're like, what? And he's like, the Cody Parker guy, like, yell at me. And he'd be like, no, 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 no. Or like, you'd be in the lift, and you'd be in the lift for five minutes, and then the driver would turn around at the red line and just be like, hey, this is kind of weird, but are you the Bears fan who wanted to murder Cody Parker? And you're like, yeah. yeah. It's like, yo, that's One of them. sick. It's like, mean, they talked what? about it on Rogan. Yeah, Joe Rogan yeah, called him a douchebag. Yeah. yeah. Which is that's cool. I mean, yeah, I, I am a douchebag yeah. in that sense, and I guess a lot of senses, but the, like, <laughs> that was just cool. Like, Joe Rogan. In like, like yeah, Good Morning America that. and you shit. You imagine getting that mad at sports because he's such an anti-sports yeah, guy. Yeah, like, anti yeah, I can because yeah. I fucking... Sp nah, dude, that was fucking... That was crazy. And what's crazy about it, too, is it, it transcended Barstool, too. Because, oh, if, yeah. it, you know, if it was like a thing where it was like, oh, that's just a Barstool guy making content, people didn't realize that. They was like, oh, wow, this right. is just a fan reaction video. Right. They didn't realize. Oh, people being like, like, he's going to lose his job and Dave quote to me and be like, wrong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, you know, everyone if everyone had known, like, oh, like he was, like you wanted to make a video. Granted, it was genuine and you were mad and everything like that. But if people... Did, like it was, they thought that was just like, hey, you did that off the cuff because you were so mad. Who like, knows no. if I get the same reaction now or if it happens yeah, again? Yeah. Maybe, mm -hmm. but crazy, oh. crazy. Uh, Cody Parkey video, mm -hmm. uh, Chief, you're up. Uh, man, I feel like there's so many good ones still on the board. Without having the fifth guy, it, it I, I have that same feeling. Yeah, it's a lot easier, you think? Yeah, I do. I do think that. Well, and this is a deep category too. Yeah. Um. <sighs> I'll go with one that like I just think it's another local news one. It just cracks me up. Still, he's actually gone like like reviral on TikTok because like the kid himself like remade the video as a, as an adult now. But it's the apparently kid. Have you guys? Do you know that one? Is this like a chief pick? Okay. Apparently, <laughs> I'm on the news and I've never been on live TV before. Oh, you guys don't know what I'm talking about. I don't that it's a great so, pick. No. Maybe. That's a great pick. <laughs> apparently, yeah. Apparently, it's like, it's going big on TikTok now. Yeah, it's like re is going re viral. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah with yeah, the redhead yeah, yeah. kid, he's probably and like. Did I don't he know. do shit with Alan too? And like he was like running yeah. into like uh, At, back then. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And it, you know, he's like, I watched yeah, the that news legit. with the uh, the Powerball with my grandpa, and I've never been on live TV before. And like he just had, he's like trying to do like the TV voice. Over and over and over. Oh, like, that's a voice. That 
cadence and uh sure. but he's trying to yeah he's trying to like his voice is different than other people's but he's trying to speak in that cadence yes and uh and so i don't know like that kid i just think he's so funny i'm glad tom validated that pick because like, i was getting blank stares around the around the uh around the room here but yeah, yeah i just didn't know kid. him as the apparently kid but apparently okay. that's the, uh, yeah. Apparently, that's what he's known. <laughs> Apparently, the best part is the uh, the grandfather keeps trying to like pull him out of the. <laughs> right. He's like, all right, all right, that's yeah. enough. And right. He just keeps going. All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's it is it's so funny. Like I like that one. Like the kid. Like just it's also just like so pure. Like he's just like, well, I'm on the news, so I'm going to talk like how they talk in on that cadence on the news. And yeah, just a, a an all time for me. Uh, Apparently, kid. Your thoughts, Dave? I don't have any because I don't know if I've seen it. I, like I'm sure I have again, but yeah. it, it's just like I don't know. Maybe Chiefs just stinks they were describing it, which is probably it. Tom Tom got it. And he said it was a great pick, and he's a viral video guy. You know it. All right. Apparently, get off the board. Before I give my pick three, I want to talk wow. about Upstart, Dave. Dave, you got to be smart when you're paying off debt, right? Oh yeah, yeah. It's very very important to be smart, and that's why you should be using Upstart because when it comes to paying off debt. Everybody knows it could feel like an uphill battle. High interest rates resulted in minimum monthly payments. That keeps you in an endless cycle of debt. Upstart can help you get ahead. They're a fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. Whether you're paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over half a million people have used Upstart to get a simple fixed monthly payment. Unlike other lenders, though, Dave, they don't just look at your credit score. Oh, no shit. Nope. Wow. They'll look at wow. your uh, income, your employment history. So that means uh, you can get a smarter rate on everything when they factor all that in. So with a five-minute online rate check, you can see the rate up front for loans between $1,000 to $50,000. You can receive funds as fast as one business day if they're accepting your loan. So to find out how Upstart can help you lower your monthly payments today, go to upstart.com slash Eddie. That's upstart.com slash Eddie, E-D-D-I-E. Don't forget to use that URL because it lets them know that we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit income and certain other information provided in your loan application like i said go to upstart.com slash eddie all right it's to me i need my third rounder like you said chief there's uh there's still a lot on the board there's mm-hmm. there, there's a lot on the board yeah um i i don't think you guys are gonna like this pick actually i don't i i, I'm, I have a strong feeling dave's not gonna like it mm-hmm. but it just deserves to be drafted oh, okay go it, it just deserves to be drafted and it's charlie bit my finger it yeah, deserves to be yeah. drafted oh i love that pick yeah, okay. i thought you were yeah. going completely different completely i mean it's cute it's is this our first really cute warm wholesome video on the list i think I, so this or apparently i think apparently kid is kind of like okay. that too yeah you're you're not familiar with that one either no okay it has, and I don't even know if this is the original, but just the top one, if you search Charlie Bit My Finger, it is 884 million. That's years. crazy. That's, that's Here's what I don't understand, because now I've heard the news, like, in the last couple of weeks, they've made it an NFT. Yes. So what is, how the fuck? They take it, it off YouTube, and the, the person fu- who has it has, has it, and it's up to them the how they distribute it. Non-fungible. Someone paid, guess how much someone paid for the Charlie Bit? It's like, it's like $760,000. $760,000. Right? $760, Someone paid that they own this video okay. now. Danny, you have a new job. Figure out a way. Is he still over there? Figure out a way to get me rich off a viral video. And, like, I'll do whatever. Sell your gum gate video. Uh, I mean, you it's out there already. That, but I don't know if Dave owns it because he didn't take it. Right. It was uh, WGN who owns it. Um, I mean, that's probably the most viewed video they've ever gotten on their YouTube page. Probably. Yeah, they, yeah. I should get residuals off that. In fact, I'm going to go and talk to Walter Payton Jr. and make him give me the fucking residuals for that. All right. So, yeah, Charlie bit my finger like it's Charlie. Yeah, that's – that's. I mean, like, I knew it was going to get drafted. It deserves to get drafted. Um, and that's, you know, another very early – It's an OG. Yeah. It's yeah, an, it's an OG. OG. Yeah. It's an OG for sure. It's an OG. And it's, it, is a, it is a cute, funny video. It is. And it's just one of those things where it's like how many videos like that I mean, that, that stuff probably happens every day, but they're the first ones to, like, capture it and put it on YouTube, and everyone yep. lost their mind. So, totally. I think it's from, like, 2006. Like, those kids are probably, like, drinking now. And there's, yeah, one of the, Charlie's, like, he's on the Canucks, you know? Yeah, like, who right. knows? Yeah. Like, it's just these fucking kids, yeah. like, they're, right. you know, he's dropping head. He's on the Canucks. Like, I wonder just, if they can use that as a pickup line. Like, I'm the kid who got his finger bitten by Charlie. I'm sure, dude. Are yeah. you kidding me? Yeah. Like, you know? But, I mean, clearly it's not going to look like Charlie anymore. Um, Charlie. All right. I need one more. 
This one might not qualify under the parameters of uh, the draft, but I think it should because it never made it on its way to TV. It was a behind-the-seeds thing that leaked, and it's fuck it, do it live. All right, it was on my list. Okay. So I think that counts. Do it live. Does that count for you guys? I, I would not veto that. Bill O'Reilly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm – I'm not going to comment. No, you've yes, seen you it. Yes, you have. He yeah, goes, I'm fuck sure. it, I'll do it live. And then he gets mad. Oh, yeah, 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 anybody yeah, ever worked yeah, yeah, in yeah. live TV yeah, before? Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. it, I'll do it live. I think yeah. his response was like, I got much more recent material if you guys want to use it too. Oh, when he said that? Like defending himself was basically yeah. like, that's nothing. I got more. If you think that's bad or if you think that's routine, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that that was like the tone about it. Yeah, and that was a very, very old video because that was from him with Entertainment Tonight, Ooh. not Fox News. Mm -hmm. So that that video, I think, was probably taken in the 90s and then like uploaded much later. Yeah, S same thing. And that's like, leave Britney alone, fuck it, do it live. Mm -hmm. Those are just things mm -hmm. that are still said. Yeah. I'm yeah. still sad. Nope. Fuck it. Not right. how mad he was. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Do it live. Do it live. Uh, He's I'm guy. shocked you've never seen this. No, oh, I've seen it. I know, I know what you're talking about. It just took a second to click. Uh, I haven't seen that movie or movie uh, video in fucking forever. So, so. Uh, yeah. Fuck it. Do it live is my fourth round pick. Chief to you again. All right. I'm going to go with the... Uh, Ain't nobody got time for that lady. So I think her name was like something sweet brown. And she, it's like a 45 second, another local news clip. And she was, just tells this story about the fire that happened in her apartment complex in the most dramatic way ever. She's like, I got up to get a Coke. And all of a sudden, I smelled barbecue. <laughs> and she's like, oh, my Jesus, it's a fire. <laughs> and she I ran out of there. So like the, like her voice and like the way she tells the story is so funny and she like says jesus like praise jesus like 17 times in 45 seconds and then i thought i was gonna have bronchitis no ain't nobody got time for that so that was like another one or i think she like the video went so viral that she made it to daytime tv too um and it's again it's like another one like that i don't think that's as common as fuck it i'll do it live um as like a thing that's just still said in the culture but ain't nobody got time for that was like a thing everybody was saying girls and, love saying that yeah and then oh it, it, it got to the point like i think that came out and i was like in my first like office job like if that came out like 2010 or 11 something like that and people are just saying it all like you want to blow your fucking brains out because then people are like every once everybody saw it and no one could stop saying ain't nobody got time for that like it would just be like Oh, we're having a meeting. Oh, ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, but in a way, like credit to this lady, it did kind of turn into a great motto for people to not give a shit about things. Yeah, you know, like no, that, no, time you know for, no time for no time for bronchitis. I don't have time for bronchitis. Yes, I'm yeah. out. Yeah, no time for that. Yep. No, uh, and that that one to me, like those, the Antoine Dobson and that one are like for whatever reason my head, like those are the same video, and like you could have gone either way with those, and I think that that lady in the fourth round, I feel like I'm pretty happy with that. All right, Carl. Back to you. Um, not as funny of a video, but this I think this is a is a powerful one, and, and this one definitely is in the same category as "Boom Goes the Dynamite," where like you downloaded it for the first time, and then you had to play it on your Windows Media Player. And it's the evolution of dance. Yeah. It's the guy oh, in the yeah, yeah, orange yeah, yeah. long sleeve tee, David mm -hmm. from Santa Ana, and it's I think it's about a minute and forty seconds long. And it's like literally one of those videos you just send with your mouth open. You're like, man, I wish I could do that. Oh, and it's yeah. something so weird and obscure, and it's a talent where you're like, dude, when would you – might pull that out once a year at like a wedding, but you're like, man, it'd be so sick if I was double-jointed and could moonwalk mm -hmm. and do all this crazy shit. Um, evolution of dance. Right. So it starts with like a song in the – like, like – uh like an Elvis song. So it starts like the dancing from the 50s and goes all the way up to like mm -hmm. modern times. So if, if people haven't seen it, he's just wearing like an orange shirt. Yeah, like white pants. I want to say that he got like a Sunkiss deal out of that or something. Like he might have been in commercials. Like he, he got like, that was super viral. Su like he was very famous. I want to say that came out in like 2006. Yeah, it was, it was in an older clip that then got big when YouTube became, yeah. you know, because... And I want to say he was like a like a struggling stand up comedian, and 
th- like he was at like a doing a set and he was at like a talent show or something. And it was uh, yeah the re- uh, talent show I think. Yeah and yeah super super crazy viral. Fourth round pick. Now this is a video I probably watch more than some of the other ones. Like I was very I very much when you first hear like holy shit this is so cool and then when you still see it it just like resonates. But uh, I like it here in the fourth round just because honestly the name's weak. Like it's the. The name is like evolution of dance. There's no yeah, like yeah. real, but you could just say the dude in the orange, long, you know, if you were like the dude in the orange long sleeve dancing, yeah. everyone knows. I mean, as soon as you said it, I remember like exactly what it looks like. So yeah. I think it's a good pick. Thank you. All right. Evolution of dance off the board. Back to WSD. Last two picks. Um, I'm going with a cheapy but an easy one. Everybody's seen the video. It's hilarious. The first time I saw it, I was fucking dying. I'm just going to Sneezing Panda. It's 15, 18 seconds long, something. Everybody and their mother saw it. It went fucking absolutely viral. Easy last round pick, I'd say. Um, you still got one more, buddy. That's yeah, your, I know. Yeah. I know. Sneezing I, Panda thoughts? Yes. Yeah, like I mean, it, there, it was. There's uh, nothing special too, about yeah. it at all. Can, but can was, I say something? Yeah. yeah. Funny. I don't know if I've ever seen that one. Oh I, yeah, you have. I have. Yeah. I don't. Look remember. it up right now. It's like a 10 second clip. Just pull it up on your phone. Yeah. It's a little baby panda. Adorable. It looks like a little puppy almost. And uh, he's eating grass or whatever in the panda pen. It's like at a zoo or something. And uh, the mom's eating her bamboo stick or whatever. And she sneezes. Or the baby panda sneezes. And the mom, like, she does, she gets startled. And she goes, like, oh. Mm-hmm. And, and that's it. I don't okay. know if I've seen it either. I don't yeah, think so. Oh, it's like a, it's definitely a famous video. Yeah. yeah it's a, it, oh, it, I'm not denying. It wasn't yeah. like a... Holy shit! That you gotta see this, but like everybody yeah. did see it. Yeah, you know? I just don't. I just don't yeah. remember. Yeah, it's old internet. All yeah, right, there's another old one. Yeah. What's your uh, What's your final pick? Uh, my final pick. This is like this is gonna be a bad one, but this is me. I could not get my uh, take my eyes off this video. First time I remember seeing it was KFC tweeted it, and um, Kelly Keeg started getting in on it. And this is in like 2015, maybe even before that. The Virgin Kiss from the TLC show oh, Virgin Diaries. God. Yeah. It is the most cringeworthy 30 seconds you'll ever see. So it's this dorky looking dude. He's getting married. He had never kissed his fiance, girlfriend, any other girl before. He was a virgin. They're sitting at the altar and the bridesmaids are there. The groomsmen are there. They're panning the camera over the over the family and all the people like it's at a, the wedding. It's a vile it, <laughs> so the, the priest or minister or whatever is like now you may kiss the bride and these two are sticking their th- th- like their th- more tongues her. so far down each other's throats that it's about to come out their Jesus. other person's asshole yeah oh well, i think it, I it's think, like they're trying to eat each other's head like a dog licking a nice so you say you keep saying each each other i think she both of them she was the aggressor uh, they were both I, yes maybe yeah i'm they, watching now for the first time ew, oh I'm my sorry. god ed like Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, it, this wasn't like it's a bad pick because it, it wasn't like viral in the sense of like sneezing panda or the leprechaun from Alabama, but it is one of the videos that will be burned into my brain from the internet for the rest of time, the rest of time. See, I didn't even think of that as a viral video because it was like a commercial for the show. So like that to me, like I it wasn't. It was I like fair. You okay. know? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. That but it, that that like scene and moment went viral, so yeah, like I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. But it's I don't, I would it was not on my board, but because it was a commercial. I don't you know. Like that it? Was it? It's a good pick, Tom. You like that one? The last one? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Virgin Kiss off the board. Okay. Um, Carl, you're up. Last pick. Uh, this one's a great one for me. I'm taking who do you think you are? I am. I'm taking Pete oh. Weber, ball in the strike, yelling on the camera. Like that originally is from the broadcast. And if it was a bigger sporting moment, then I think you could argue like, well, it was big on the broadcast, but it was just like an obscure bowling championship. And Pete Weber just fucking freaks out at the end. And if you asked anybody, you know, like give me a give me something that's happened in bowling, or like what do you that think? Moment. That's it. It's like who do you think you are? Right? I don't bowler, understand Pete what that question is though. Who do you exactly. think? Exactly. That's why it went viral. I don't. I what actually. Does that even mean? I don't. Whoever Nothing. you think you he are, was like, he was just screaming. Do you think you're the man? I I am. I guess. Who do you think you are? I am. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the glasses, you're, the you're, whole thing. I mean, you're, when you're when you're hyped up, who knows what you're saying? Right. Yeah. It's like the Cody Parkey thing. It's it's the Jake Marsh. I am yeah. the best in the office. Yeah, you know? yeah. like what was Jake Marsh yelling? Right. 
Who exactly. knows what Pete? What's going through Pete right, Weber's mind? Exactly. But it's almost become a thing where, like, if you, you're gonna be at league night and somebody bowls a big strike, and yeah, you'll, hear it, yeah. you'll hear it's, it. You'll hear it. Who do yeah. you think you right. are? It's it's transcended just bowling too. Ah, yeah. It's one of those yeah. quotes yeah. that yeah. like yeah. It's a harmless, ridiculous. <laughs> he's got the glasses on and the bowling shirt. And <laughs> yeah, that's a Pete great Weber. Pick. That's a great value in the fifth round. Thanks, um, Chief. All right, I'm taking one. Uh, I'm taking the wedding entrance uh, where they're doing the choreographed mm-hmm. dance to um, to Chris Brown forever. They turned it into like an office episode, like when Jim and Pam got married. They they like recreated it. It was it was so big, and that was another thing. I think I was I think I was like 24, 25, something like that. I was I remember being in the office, and I got it emailed to me like seventeen times. Like, oh, have you seen this? Like, yes. It's like, a great pick. It. Yeah, so that 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 song, the dance, the whole thing. Then they did the whole daytime TV circuit, too. And it turns out, like, I think, like, her dad died, like, tragically. So she wanted to come up with, like, a decent way to go down the aisle. And they, like, the whole wet. You know what I'm talking about? Or? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, a thousand percent. A yeah, 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 thousand yeah, percent. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's a great song, too. Great song. It's his jam. And now, then, did the office cuck it? Like, yeah. I feel like the office, they had great intentions. But I feel like most people are going to think of The Office now because of that. Really? I see. I think the the video was so viral that you knew what they were doing when they yeah, did Yeah, but you got these high schoolers now watching The Office and, you know. Oh, they reference the video in the episode? Thank you, Office Dan. Uh, yeah. So I guess I reference it. But I'm, you know. Yeah. I was just curious. Yeah, if- maybe. And I, I also feel like I had a, a, a group of friends that got married young. And so, like for like, four, I feel like four wedding, like first four or five weddings in a couple of years after that video came out, like that song came on the dance floor, and like got everybody going. Mm-hmm. So like mm-hmm. that song, song still slaps. It's a great song. It's a great song. It's an unbelievable yeah. song. Yeah. And um, yeah. And did that make wedding entrances a big thing then? Because now it's a thing. Like, how do you come out to the wedding? Ooh, Ooh if it did wedding, make it that, then I hate it. Then I do hate that too. Because there's nothing worse than being like the fucking fifth guy in a in like yeah. a there's no in like the groom's groom's party and yeah or what is it the, you're the fifth the groom's bump, or are we gonna do the carlton yeah what should we yeah. do we d- shout out to like, why don't you hit a, Sarah, i'll throw you a pitch and then that you hit well, a home run and yeah then. there's no one ever looks cool or no one no one's ever like it's you can't be funny just walk in just walk in and sit down at your table but yeah. it was uh but that and that was like down the aisle so like coming into the reception oh yeah you're right that yeah. was like going into the wedding the church so yeah it was like to the ceremony yeah that's a lot different yeah good pick yeah Who's Good up? pick. It's yeah. to me, Mr. Irrelevant. I almost feel like we could do another full round here. Yeah, I almost want to, like, Tom, give us your fucking five that we missed after this. We uh, do that. Man, there's so many great things left. I'm going to go with one that I think has been forgotten, unfortunately. And for my money, it is the best fight video maybe ever. Mm-hmm. And it's Shovel Girl. Do you guys remember that oh, one? Oh, that sound. Yes, the girl who got the <laughs> shovel beamed off her head. <laughs> They're fighting. They're by chickens. This is my house now, bitch. This is my house, bitch. They're fucking fighting with the barefoot. It's the biggest hillbilly deluxe. These girls are. Right, let's go another round. Yeah, let's go another round. Is, yeah. The shovel girl fight <laughs> is so great. Well, it, like you, the sound that that shovel makes reverberating off of her fucking dome <laughs> is just like it is pierced into my brain forever. It sounds like, Dave, you haven't seen. You don't know what I'm talking about either, huh? Can't say I do. Oh man, that's, that's a shame. That's not where I thought you were going to go. That's why I really do think we should just whip it back around. <laughs> you think so? I mean, we're we're missing a guy. I'll do another round. Can I take a leak? Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Uh, shovel girl, man, underrated. I even had to remind you about what it was. Yeah, Be- but it's shovel girl's a goat. Yeah. That is that is a great that is a great pick. It's one of my favorite yeah. fights ever. Uh, I guess. Fuck, I'm between two. If you like that one, huh? <laughs> do you like that one? Yeah. But I'm also laughing at the one that like you put something else in my head that I want to take. So that's actually what I'm laughing at. But I love that the sound that shovel makes is so funny. Yeah, this is my house now, bitch. <laughs> like, those girls are fucking... I need the internet so bad right now. Yeah, the internet but is currently out the same. office. it's not the same. Like, yeah. you know, it's, yeah. just, it's just not the same. Mm-hmm. Um, fuck, I'm between two, Dave. I'm between two. I didn't There's know we were doing six like, rounds. There's one, like, huge, iconic one out there. Is there? Like, one of the biggest in the history of the internet. But, like, it is early internet. 
another news broadcast one. Now, are, are, now, when you think of viral videos, like, is it something where you want it to be off the cuff, or are planned videos? Do you not view them as as nice? Um, I don't view the plan like I have one on my list. I don't think anyone will take it, so I'll use it as an example. But I got a crush on Obama. Like, do you remember that song? Like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So that there's like this super hot like brunette girl with tits that Dave would just be slobbering over. No, no, no. You can describe them. Let's, I just like, did. Well, keep going. Like, they were, are they small and perky? No. Sit on the ledge? Are they like big? You know, you fucking almost a full episode, Dave. <laughs> I'm asking Ryan. Yeah, no, they're they were they, were, say they were big. They looked natural, proportional to the body. They, like they were, they're great. They're great. And she had a crush on Obama. So that was like that went super viral. I think that was in like bef- like the summer before the election. But like that to me is not as like. Is that what you're asking? Like something God, like that? Yeah. I mean, fuck it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take it and. uh Ask questions later, but it's my new haircut. Uh, yeah. You remember that one? Yeah. With the Jaeger bombs. Yep. Not now, Chief. I'm in the fucking zone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was. I was. I, well, that's the thing that gets said to me like all the time. Not now, Chief. I'm yeah. in the fucking yeah. zone. Yeah. Right. Steve so, stands the test of yeah. time. It was a very funny video, mm-hmm. and it was it was satire. Like they were making fun of people like that. Right. So it was it, it was a good it was a good ribbing, I guess. So mm-hmm. uh, I'll go with my new haircut is my uh, sixth rounder, first ever. Okay. First of its kind. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the the thing I was laughing about when you took the shovel girl is another one that Prez posts all the time, and it's Mass Hole Thanksgiving. Where this guy, oh, yeah, this big guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. stands up and he starts like yelling at, like, "I'll put you through the fucking wall," <laughs> and then he stands up and it, like they pan over to the grandpa and it's like this guy who's like this shriveled up little old man. It's a bunch of Vin dogs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and he's like, "I'll put you through the fuck. You think you're smart? I'll put you through the, the fucking, fucking wall, pal." Yeah. <laughs> like the like the guy had the the grandpa it, who was yelling at it has to be like ninety years old. So it was. It's. Oh, I thought that was. That video still cracks me it's up every one. time too. Yeah, Carl. Sorry. Oh, the shovel girl. Shovel I got the shovel girl sound. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a good one. That's a very good pick. All right, me six mm-hmm. round. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go seasonal. I'm gonna go holiday. I'm gonna go Fourth of July. I'm gonna go Terry in a oh, wheelchair. Oh, oh great! Oh, Terry. Wow. Oh, no. oh, Terry. How did that get to the that sixth was, round? That that's is, an oversight. That this is list. on you for doing an extra round because that's a fucking first round. Put it in reverse. Oh, what do you oh, mean? Terry. <laughs> or in reverse, Terry. Oh, what do you, what do you mean that's on me? You just hey, you had six picks and you didn't oh, take it. Oh, look, because I forgot about it, obviously. It gets caught. I mean, because it's a holiday one. You've got your. Put it in reverse, Terry. <laughs> It's like up there. It's like up there with. It's like it's like up there with St. Patrick's Day. With St. Patrick's Day and the Leprechaun and Fourth of July and like Terry in the wheelchair. (laughs) Back up, Terry. Terry, back up. Back up, back up, Terry. Back up, Terry. Back up. And fireworks are going off. And to be fair, I think I. You know, it's funny because I think Terry does okay at the end of the video. It's fine. Terry's fine. Everybody's laughing. It's not like Terry's going to the emergency room. But back up. Yeah, I'll take. Back up, Terry. I'll take Terry in the wheelchair getting <laughs> blasted by fireworks. That's an awesome one. That's that's an all-time. I can't believe that went to the bonus round. All There's right. still one other huge iconic one that still Let's see if White Sox Dave I, takes I, it. I don't, I don't know if I am or not, but <laughs> this one... I, I hope you guys fucking count this because it, it needs to it needs to be addressed on the dog walk. I'm going Miss Teen South Carolina. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, a great that's one. That's so good, dude. <laughs> so <laughs> she's so 20, good. Twenty percent of Americans couldn't find us on the map. She just Start has sucking. a mental fucking breakdown <laughs> to the point where the next day people were like worried about her. They're like, I think she had a stroke. <laughs> Well, she, well she, made, she basically did. She did. Yeah. And she's like, well, talking about America, then she starts talking like about like Iraq South, and, South yeah. Africa and Iraq, like, and we should help them. And then they, they like, her, the the thing dings. She's just like, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> she, it, it's just like. This incoherent rambling for 30 real. seconds. And then. You're watching that first time, and you're like, oh, yeah. man. No, that's a great one. Her can I just, watch? <laughs> can I give you her answer? Yeah. yeah. All right. So recent polls have shown a fifth of Americans can't locate the U.S. on a world map. Why do you think this is? She responded, 
I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so because uh, some some people some people out there in our nation don't have maps, and <laughs> I believe that our education. Like such as in South Africa and the Iraq, <laughs> everywhere like such as, I believe that they should. You this our education over here in the U.S. should help the U.S. <laughs> should help South Africa and should help the Iraq and the Asian countries, so we will be able to build up our future for our children. Thank you. <laughs> I mean. What? That's, I mean, <laughs> this oh. is what she said. She said, Well, personally, my friends and I, we know exactly. This is what she said. She went on the Today Show afterwards. She said, Well, personally, my friends and I, we know exactly where the United States is on our map. I don't know anyone else who doesn't. And if the statistics are correct, I believe there should be more emphasis on geography and our education so people will learn how to read maps. What a preposterous situation to put this young girl in at the mid. This isn't the Miss Amer This is the Miss Teen South Carolina. She's yeah, probably like a junior in high school. Old, yeah. That's the beauty pageant game. It's like 20% of people can't. <laughs> I, I would have been like, what the fuck are you talking about? 20 people, 20 percent of people can't identify the United States on a world map. It's tough. All right. So we want to do honorable mentions then? Yeah, let's run it through real quick. White Sox, Dave, Leroy Jenkins, hide your kids, hide your wife, leave Brittany alone, sneezing panda, virgin kiss, Miss Teen, South Carolina, Carl, boom goes the dynamite, Greg Jennings video, Cody Parkey video, evolution of dance, Pete Weber, back it up, Terry, Chief Leprechaun in Mobile, Alabama, it's fun to do bad stuff with friends. Apparently, kid, ain't nobody got time for that. Forever wedding entrance, mass hole Thanksgiving. Eddie, uh, DJ's in my car. I like turtles. Charlie bit my finger. Fuck it, do it live. Shovel girl, my new haircut. Um, I Strong start, strong finish for Ed. Very, very Italian Jersey Shore based. Ooh, yeah. Book ends. True. yeah, making fun of him at the end there. Uh, Tom, what your uh, impressions here? Yeah, there's a lot of good ones. I think... Uh it's just interesting because there's like a lot of them are born on YouTube, and I feel yeah. like there's like a lot, there's like a few that are born on Twitter that. So what are the Twitter ones like that we missed? missed? What's the biggest glaring well, omission? Like, well, for me, my number one favorite of all time is the Suicider Steelers fan. Oh you're yeah, you're gonna find me hanging. Dead. <laughs> you're gonna find me hanging in the bathroom. Don't ask me to do dishes. <laughs> Nothing. That's like my number one video of all time. <laughs> that is a great one. But I just yeah. feel like videos yeah. like that like don't go as viral anymore because of Twitter. Yeah. Like that. Like all the videos we named, we're naming them because they're it was YouTube. Yeah. Right. YouTube. Well, like the one that I thought is like an iconic one that didn't get taken was Grape Lady. Like, mm -hmm. can I be honest with you? Yeah. I was between Grape Lady and. Uh, My new haircuts. Yep. Yeah. I was between Grape Lady and that. Yeah. So there's also drinking out of cups, which was like huge. Mm -hmm. David at the dentist was monster. Yeah, that was, that yeah. Was, I had that on my list. Yeah. I wanted to take the virgin kiss though, just because if I know it's not, it wasn't some crazy viral, viral video, but it should be, and people need to go and Google the yeah. virgin kiss. I uh, thought a big YouTube one that didn't go that was really big, at least with us, a little while ago, was the double rainbow. Like that oh, was yeah, like that's uh, a good one with the dudes like oh, doing yeah. acid or whatever. Yeah. He's just free. He must be oh on. He's God. on some kind of drugs. Yeah, like holy the uh, the homeless guy with the golden voice. I, yep, I had him. Yeah, had yeah, him. Yeah. Um, I love the dead giveaway guy. Oh yeah, dead yeah, giveaway. That's a dead <laughs> giveaway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What about fucker right in the pussy guy? I, oh, I, I had I her, but I that. didn't yeah. want to. Like, it's tough because he doesn't have one clip as much as a co compilation of just an incredible body of work of him getting onto the local news station and saying mm -hmm. "fucker right in the pussy." Mm -hmm. I mean, it was like half a dozen times he's broken into yeah. a broadcast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't tase me, bro. Yeah, that's yeah, mm -hmm. that's definitely. a big one. Uh, Two very barstool ones. I fucked up Jim Calhoun. Oh yeah, which I don't know if that would count or not. But I don't know. If I that think ever that would count. So one thing I didn't know, I was going to take this, but I didn't want. I, it shouldn't count. My conscience said, "Don't take it," and that's uh, the one where he's like, "And it's a." Um, uh, there's a drive deep in the left field. I, I, was, oh, yeah. I had Tom Brenneman. Tom Brenneman. Yeah. 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 Castellanos. That, uh, that, it's just too recent. Yeah. And but, the other I mean, more recent one I didn't yeah. want to take that I thought was the biggest one of last year was... Uh, uh, dog, was it dog face? Whoever's whoever's drinking cranberry juice of Fleetwood Mac. Oh, What's yeah. that guy's oh, name? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's, I think he's, he's like the first like super super viral TikTok guy. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. with that the TikTok. Yeah, got the kids back into landslides. And then my mm -hmm. last one, obviously, I I was only gonna I don't was only gonna pick one. I had Susanna or Cody Parkey, and Cody Parkey's bigger than Susanna. Mm -hmm. But I do have a soft spot in my heart for that Susanna video because it's just like funny, and I like when. That's something where like a, like an older woman will be like, oh, that video is so funny, or like it's Great a weird mm -hmm. basis of where, um, 
for people to say like, oh, I I recognize your work. Would you recognize the hot tub video? You're yeah. Like, All the shit. Everything we've ever done. Yeah. And the me half naked in a party. fucking. Yeah. It's a great um, video. Chris Berman also has several yeah. Bill O'Reilly ones. It's so yeah. fucking rude. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like hitting on that one PA. Yeah. Like, did you get the wine I sent you? Like, yeah. oh, coming back Jeez. over from <laughs> coming oh. back over from Canada with some does or whatever, like the uh, the the Tylenol codeine in them or whatever he was getting. <laughs> so. Um, I don't even know. I I don't remember that. Uh, did that happen? Yeah, they're like oh, really? yeah, it was same same oh, sort fuck. of video, I but I think that. there was like three or four Berman ones that oh. yeah. Alleged. Well, it's him speaking you know, on camera, on video. Uh, the kid, the Australian sunglasses yep, kid. Yeah, that was on my list, too. Take your sunglasses you off. You want to take off your sunglasses and show the people that you saw? I'm not taking off my glasses. They're famous. They're famous. <laughs> you remember that one? No. No. Uh, that's a, that was a that great was a good one. one. I think he was a Project X kid, if I'm not mistaken. Are um, we missing any huge... Like, was, we definitely are. I mean, oh, what yeah. I'm saying, like something that Dave or Dan did. The o- oh, um, I don't know. The only other one that I dumb. was thinking about taking was I don't know if it would count as a viral video or just like it's just a hilarious video where George Brett is mic'd up talking about yeah. shit. Oh, pants. saw that too. That's that so yeah. good. Yeah. That is so good. Speaking of that, it wasn't really thank you for viral, saying though. that. It's just a fucking awesome Fuck video. It's a viral story. No, viral. I don't, it, I don't think it's as viral as the viral other Viral means taken. like spreads like wildfire. Like this one was more of a slow burn. I would say. Yeah, I know what I you mean. mean it's I don't like, it might video. be more of a legendary video than yeah. a viral. And I don't know right. that it's like outside of like our niche. Yeah, you know. My number one sports one is Kyle Farnsworth beating Paul Wilson, but again, yeah. that's not like a. Yeah. yeah, like I would say ones that weren't meant to see the light of day count. Okay, yeah. Right. So like I lived through Kyle yes. Farnsworth beating up Paul Wilson, so that was a thing. We lived through Tom Brenneman's call with yes. Nick. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like it happened and like, oh, did you ever see this? Oh, I'd count. Oh, the, what. We haven't even mentioned the basis of this. We should have said was because of the Bryson DeChambeau and fucking Brooks Kepka video. Was that why? No, it wasn't. No. I'm saying, but like we oh, could have yeah. easily just have yeah. said based on how fucking unbelievably yeah, yeah. funny and viral. Yeah. Now, yeah. if you guys were golf, or I mean, yep. that that's that one of the huge funniest. Video. Very things. funny. He just he's like ready to beat the mm-hmm. shit out of Bryson DeChambeau, and now everybody's memeing it. You're seeing people. Tom Brady just put out three memes. Yeah, yeah. Tom the, ter- it. the Terry Collins one is legendary. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My my ass is in the jackpot. Yeah, oh. and like MLB was super fucking mad that it got mm. released because uh, it wasn't supposed to be released. Um, Jenna and then Marbles, Wally How Backman. To... Oh yeah, those yeah. are those are good ones. The yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Do you guys I'm sure know the, the John Cena radio prank one. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a radio John show, but Cena, yeah. it, you can only watch them on YouTube. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, that's it, guys. Mid midweek draft. Um, Jimmy Dean sausage voicemail. Last one. That's a good, <laughs> that yes. is a good one. You had to throw that in there. Yes, um, absolutely. I don't want twelve ounces of Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage. <laughs> I want my full sixteen. I don't want a patty. I want the full Jimmy Dean sixteen ounce breakfast sausage. My wife, she's a little plump. I got two daughters. I don't want 12. Is, he, is that the same guy who called us and yelled at us when McAfee quit, Dave? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the first. <laughs> Daddy, where you're in the, where, where is, where in the fuck is Pat McAfee and the Indiana boys? They quit. Indiana boys. <laughs> where will, in the fuck they at? Where will we be you, you for the <laughs> next snake draft? How will the visuals I don't change? know where we'll be. I don't know who will be the guest. I don't know what the future holds. Yeah, the next week or two is going to be a little weird for us. Yeah, studios in limbo and such. So. Studios in limbo. Um, that office also doesn't have internet. Yeah. So that's yeah. a problem. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Shit. Uh, mm-hmm. As fun. much as we've enjoyed it too, because the snake drafts are a lot of fun for the, us, especially the, on the surface. The snake, like, my favorite part is when we pick topics where it spins the wheels of nostalgia. And today definitely yeah. did that. And it was fun. Yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, this is it. The last one here, man. That's crazy to think about. We won't be sweating and our balls off. What's crazy off. to think about is we're no longer we'll no longer have the Milton vibe. We are better than all of you guys listening. <laughs> um, we're not grinders anymore. We've made it. No, I'm just joking. Well, I mean, people are going to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm so. also very scared for the, <laughs> for the new office. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. I'm but terrible. no. Yeah. Thanks everyone for listening. This was the final snake draft from Ukrainian Village. Mm-hmm. Uh, Who knows if we even get a new office without the success of snake drafts? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Yeah. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.